Welcome to Grace Kids. My name's Joey, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. We are in a series called Art from the Start, and we're using art to learn about stories from the start or the beginning of the Bible. And over the last few weeks, we've heard about the creation of the world and the creation of people. Who created all of this? Yeah, God created all of this. He's an amazing artist, the creator of everything. And just like an artist creates a masterpiece from a blank canvas, God created the whole world from nothing. He's so amazing. The Bible says it like this. In Genesis 1.1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It was really art from the start. Speaking of art, I want to show you this piece of, this piece of art that I did. It's awesome. I worked so hard on it, and I hope that you like it. I'm still learning, but this is the best thing that I've done yet. And in fact, I'm really proud of it. It took me several hours to do. I even took a class on Zoom to do it. So here, check it out. Here, check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, somebody ruined my art. They, they ruined it. D do you think I can fix this? It took me all that time. I guess I'll just have to do it again. I'll have to do it again. Someone made a bad choice, but I guess I'll have to keep working and make a new one, make something new. And that reminds me, this reminds me of our lesson for today. We all make bad choices sometimes, don't we? And what usually happens when we make a bad choice? That's right, we get into trouble. There are consequences for our bad choices. And that reminds me of a story from the Bible. It comes from the first book of the Bible where all of our stories in this series are coming from, and that book is called Genesis. Can you say that with me? Genesis. We know that God created a perfect world and everything was beautiful, and Adam and Eve were living happily in the Garden of Eden, and they got to walk and talk with God, and it was wonderful. But then something happened that messed everything up. So let's take a look at what happened next. Stories of the Bible. Adam and Eve sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve. Hey. Who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey, Eve! Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? <laughs> no! Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam, and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh, no! And they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, What have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. 
Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals, but God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin, so he sent them away and closed up the garden. I loved seeing Adam and Eve's story, didn't you? They taught us a few things. First, we heard about sin. Can you say that with me? Sin. What is sin? Yeah, sin is anything that we do or say that wasn't part of God's plan for us, wasn't something that God wanted for us. And so when we disobey God, we're sinning. And Adam and Eve did this when they ate the fruit in the garden. We have all sinned. We also heard in that story about consequences. Can you say that with me? Consequences. What's a consequence? Yeah, a consequence are things that happen when, after we say or we do something. Consequences are things that happen after we say or we do something. And so when we choose to do the right thing, there are good consequences. And when we choose to do the wrong thing, there are bad consequences. So let's think about this together. I'll give you an example of a consequence, and you can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down to show me whether it's a good consequence or a bad consequence. Okay, so here's the first one. You help your little sister clean up a mess that she made, and you both get a cookie for doing such good work. Is that a good consequence or a bad consequence? Yeah, that's a good consequence. Here's the next one. Your family has a rule that you have to read for 20 whole minutes before you watch TV, but you decided to skip your reading and so then your dad asks you if you've read, and when he finds out that you didn't read, you lose your TV time for an entire week. Is that a good consequence or a bad consequence? Yeah, that's a bad consequence for a bad choice. So let's think of one more, okay? Your friend, he wants to play a video game that your family says not appropriate. They said it's not okay to play. So what's the good choice here? Yeah, the good choice is not to play that game. And so what's the good consequence that could come from that good choice? Your parents could trust you, and maybe you find a new and a better game that's even more fun. So what's the bad choice in that situation? Yeah, you decide to play that game anyway. And what's a bad consequence that could come from that bad choice? You could get in trouble. You could have no more video game time for a while. And so all of our actions have consequences, and some are big consequences, and some are little consequences. Some can be good, some can be bad. And in Adam and Eve's case, the consequences were huge. When they chose to disobey God, they separated themselves from him. And just like Adam and Eve, we all sin. We all make the wrong choice sometimes. And when we sin, it separates us from God. But that's not what God wants for us. Our big idea for today is everyone sins, but God has a plan. Say that with me. Everyone sins, but God has a plan. And his plan is Jesus. God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us to take our punishment, our consequence. God created us to have relationship with him, and we can all choose to do that. Our sin separates us from God, but Jesus made a way back, and that's really good news. Okay, let's pray before we go to thank God for all that we've learned today and for forgiving us when we make the wrong choices. Dear God, thank you that you love us no matter what we could ever do. Help us to make the right choices and to ask forgiveness when we make the wrong choices. Thank you that Jesus made a way back to you. Remind us today that you love us deeply and that you always want to be with us and have a relationship with us. We love you so much. Amen. Guys, thanks for being with us today and for being great listeners. I hope you have an awesome week. See you later. Goodbye.